Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm here to present part of my project. As you will see, um, it's going to be about using stories for um, young learners so that they learn English as a foreign language. Next. I'm not going to give you all the details of my presentation uh, of my project because you've already uh, listened to it yesterday, but I do have to say something about uh, the overall idea. Um, I'm going to be training, first of all, undergrad students in a TEFL program. Um, then I'm going to show you an activity that we will, a series of activities actually, in which I will demonstrate the use of stories for, uh, for kids. And finally, I intend to make you reflect upon uh, these practices. Next. Uh, my project will be implemented at Universidad de Concepción in Chile. That's uh, the university where I work as a, a teacher. I teach um, in the TEFL program, but also in the translation program and in other areas. And I volunteer for, um, for a program that is for talented kids across the spectrum. I have kids who know English, who are in bilingual schools, and kids who have no exposure to English whatsoever. There will be 25 uh, ex uh, exiting pre-service teachers in the uh, university, and this is about uh, ALTE 4 level in the Common European Framework. So they are quite advanced in the use of language, and they've been uh, exposed to methods and uh, teaching practices for high schools, not for uh, primary schools. Mm -hmm. And that is a big issue because now the government has uh, lowered the, the age uh, at which students should start learning English. It used to be for high school and now it is uh, from grade five. The problem is that even though we have very well trained uh, teachers for high schools, they obviously cannot use the same techniques and practices with little kids. Uh, as a supplement to my uh, one semester elective course, I will be doing a series of three workshops in the summer um, for in-service teachers and also trainers. Um, the idea is to try to pilot, <laughs> to pilot my program before it's uh, done with, uh, with uh, my target population. And as you see, we have 15 weeks, and th they're going to be divided in three units. Uh, the first unit is going to be focused on best practices and principles of good teaching for uh, TEYL. The second one is going to be focused on specific uh, techniques and methods uh, for teaching uh, young learners, including songs, chants, stories and, and things like that. And the last uh, week will be, um, or the last, uh, sorry, unit will be on, on issues that we have in teaching large classes and also using different assessment methods and, and other issues as uh, feedback and discipline in class. The schedule is, well, in uh, September, November two, uh, 2010, I will be developing the whole program. I have already started, but it needs to, be, it needs to go through a series of, um, of uh, offices <laughs> to be uh, uh, reviewed. And then uh, the course will, be, will, will go from March to July next year, which is the first academic semester. Thank you. And the goals will be to introduce uh, exiting pre-service teachers to the field of uh, TYL with an emphasis on the latest teaching methods and techniques. And also enable participants to use innovative ways of sharing with colleagues the knowledge gained in the course. And finally, develop participants into better critical thinkers through the use of reflective, constructivist, inquiry-based approach. So now you're going to be young learners. You're going to be eight-year-olds or so, nine-year-olds, um, and uh, your level in English is basic. Um, you've uh, been taught the colors. So I'm going to start with that. Hello, boys and girls. Hello. 
How are you today? Fine. Fine? Or not so well? You feel good? Good. Excellent. Um, we've been uh, learning about colors. Can you tell me which one is your favorite here? Edgar? Red. Red. What's red? What's red? Apple. An apple is red? Yes, what else is red? Blood is red, okay. Uh, Yelena, what's your favorite color? Um, blue. Yeah. Okay, what, this is blue. What is, uh, what's, what's blue? Uh, basket. Okay, and this is, well, it looks a little similar, but this is supposed to be purple. purple. Okay, so this is blue, this is purple. What is this? Green. Good. Black. Black. Excellent. Orange. 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 Let's say that this is gold. That's gold. another word for yellow. Gold. Okay, some things are gold. Say it again. Say it again. Gold. 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 Very good. Gold. Okay. And I have a surprise here. Um, you know the colors, but you don't know animals. What is your favorite animal, Kevin? Uh, a buffalo. Oh, my goodness. With horns? Okay, what's your favorite animal? Like this. What is no, like this? A bird. No. It's not a bird? Many colors. Butters a a butterfly. A butterfly. Very good. What's your favorite animal? A cat. A cat. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what about, uh, maybe, what's your favorite? Elephant. My goodness, wow. an elephant. Wow. Can you make the noise of an elephant? Wow. Like that? Okay. <laughs> Very good elephant. Okay. Now, I have a little animal here, a little friend of mine, came with me today. Do you, can you guess what it is? Yeah. Uh, maybe, nope. Okay, it's not a wild animal. It's not a wild animal. It's not a, an animal that lives away from the city. It's not a wild animal, okay? Oh, actually it is. I'm sorry, it is a wild animal. <laughs> yes, so it's not a cat. It's not a domesticated animal. It's not a cat. A crocodile. A lion. Maybe. A tiger. The same color. What color is uh, the lion? Lion. Brown. Brown. That's right. What other animals are brown? Bear. Yes. Brown bear. That's what I brought today. Meet brown bear. Say hello, brown bear. Hello, brown bear. Hello, Cliff. Okay, and brown bear have, has something for you, a book. Okay, and it's a book about himself. Okay, so this is called brown bear, brown bear. What do you see? Oh, I see many smiling faces in this classroom. So we're going to be asking brown bear what he can see. Anyone wants to guess? What brown bear can see? Can you give me ideas? What do you think is going to be in the book? Forest. Excuse me? Forest. A forest. Okay. What else? What animals do you think there will be in the story? Foxes? A fox? All right. Any other? A lion. A lion. A squirrel. A bird. And butterfly. Bees. Butterfly. Bees. <laughs> a bee. A crab. A crab. Yes. Since, good. Since we are close to the ocean, we can have crabs, you know? All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if your animal is here. Okay? Next. So we're going to sit Brown Bear here with the book for you to listen to. He's going to read to you. Okay, so pay attention to brown bear. Yeah. I'm not here anymore. You're paying attention to brown bear. Okay. All right? So this is a book by Mark, uh, Bill Martin Jr. and illustrations by Eric Carl. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. What color is the bird? Red. Red. Do you know bird, the word bird? Can you show me how a bird does? Good job. 
There we go. So, ah. red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Okay, can you do like a duck? Okay, and this is a yellow duck. Okay, now you can follow with me if you want. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Can you do like a horse? <laughs> Good job. Good, okay. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Okay, stop here. Asim, go to the front please and stand by the colors. When we go to the next slide, you need to point at the color the next animal will be. What do you think it will be? Because we already have, let's see if you remember, what do we have? We have green frog, okay? What else? Yellow duck. Blue horse. And what is that? Bear. Brown bear. Thank you. Thank you very much.